In the Okanagan, British Columbia, Canada. One more stop on our 2020 road trip. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is lovely. We just thought we'd give you a look around. So in case you're not familiar with what's going on, we are taking a road trip in the days of COVID, which is a little weird, I know. It's in August of 2020 and we're on the road. But uh, we had some uh, repairs that had to be done back home. So we were getting kicked out. I needed to take a week of vacation for my work. So uh, we decided to check out some of the lovely things that beautiful British Columbia has to show. And so as we are staying You've in uh, Vernon for four days on this particular trip, we decided to check out a lot of the surrounding areas. There are lovely beaches, hiking opportunities, all sorts of stuff within uh, just a few hours drive of Vernon. Vernon is a great hub location that you can use for all sorts of day trips. So uh, if you like skipping stones, for example, we've got, uh, you know, some uh, great uh, stone skipping territory. We've got some stones here. Seven rocks. Also, it was, a, it was a plumbing issue, if you were wondering. Yeah, it was a plumbing issue that would require the repairs at our place. And because you don't want to get into issues of mold and stuff, we couldn't wait for COVID to pass before we skedaddled for a week. Skedaddle, that's a technical term in home repairs. So uh, we've got our masks, we've got our hand sanitizer, we've got our bug spray, we've got our sunblock, we've got everything we can possibly do to keep ourselves safe. We are driving, we're not flying, we're sticking within our own province. We're doing everything we can to do this as safely as possible. We wanna show you how and some of the cool things you might be able to do. If you're in British Columbia, great, great options. Um, but whatever state or province you might be in, you might have local options like these. Uh, and so these are great things to, you know, just go on Google Maps and just do a search. That's how we're finding all of this. We did very little research beforehand about some of these specific attractions. We researched our hotels very carefully to understand the mitigation things they were doing and some of the attractions we went to, like Hell's Gate and restaurants. We're going to try going to an Earl's later today, for example. We're mostly doing takeout. Here we go. Skipping stones. That one went over there. <laughs> Like that that looks ideal. Got to get a couple of skips out of that one, I think. A little bit of waves, though. Are you saving that one? Curb lump. Try, try bending the knees. You want to get like a full body throw. These waves are pretty intense. I'm gonna take my uh, my my the sandaled uh, feet and put them in here. Water's fairly clean, which is nice. Not everywhere we've stopped. Oh, hey, hey, it's a little chilly at first. Uh, at first go, I'm gonna hold on to my phone very carefully here. But check this out. Isn't this absolutely lovely? Now, the weather we've had on this trip has been very good, um, but today's a little overcast. We did run into some rain at one point, but otherwise it's been pretty awesome. And so, I mean, this is just the kind of basic fun, you know, whether you're a family, single person, whatever. I think anyone can have this kind of just all, all natural fun. Um, yeah, just a car in relatively good repair. Uh, it doesn't have to cost a lot. Some places are offering some decent deals out there, which is nice. Okay, now that looks really flat. Let's see if we can get a good one here. One, two and a half. We're going to call that two and a half, I think. Yes! 2.5. Not bad. That not bad. That, so, not my best one is vacation. My best was three. Yeah, I've had a couple four skips at some places we've uh, stopped at. So. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So, you know, one of the things that you can do, just throw a Frisbee in your trunk when you hit the road. And, you know, you can hit any parks, beaches, provincial parks, state parks, whatever you might have. Uh, and you'll know, throw the little frisbee around, go out, get some sun on your face, get a little exercise. But of course, you'll see we're maintaining some social distancing. And so are the most of the people here as well, which is definitely nice to see. That is, uh, that's getting the shorts a little wet there. So uh, anyways, yeah, uh, we got a few more days left on this trip. Um, and then we're going to be heading back to Vancouver. So... One request we got on Facebook was to show a little bit more of actual road trip action. So uh, the trick is, though, to go live uh, when you're on a road trip. You go into an area of no signal and the live cuts out. So we'll, we might give that a try. We might just do some pre-recorded, edited stuff like we usually do. Oh, two skips. Nice. Nice fun. So, you know, 
Just because we're in a difficult time with this pandemic and everything is going on, it doesn't mean that you can't make some lovely memories of travel with friends, with family, significant other. Uh, whoever's in your bubble, uh, it's one of the terminologies some uh, uh, districts are using in terms of the people you already live with. Uh, so, you know, if, uh, if you have the means to stay where you are, then absolutely that's the thing to do. We on us if it hasn't already struck. So, um, and it's affecting local because businesses too. I mean, I do not want <laughs> Funny story, when we were on the Carnival Panorama, somebody went swimming with their phone. <laughs> uh, and so that killed that phone. So uh, I think he's just going to go put his phone uh, back. You see, I was, I was standing in the water with my phone. That does not necessarily make me the smartest person in the world. Uh, but this is lovely. There's ample parking, there's benches, there's places for kids to play on. Uh, you know, there's washrooms available. Uh, this is just absolutely lovely. Um, and there's a boat launch as well, so if you have that. Um, but of course, you know, we're definitely not encouraging you to travel if you can't do it safely or if there's no need for it. I think that's uh, important to keep in mind. Vacation Impossible, uh, we pretty much shut down. We, uh, our last trip prior to this was on the Carnival Vista at the end of January, early February. Had that earthquake uh, in the Grand Cayman Islands that we uh, had our video about and other stuff like that. And so after that, we just were, we were editing old footage, getting everything caught up, we're caught up now. Um, so we're, no, we're not gonna push it. You know, travel isn't worth risking anyone's health or safety. But if you have to do, uh, and uh, have some fun along the way, and it doesn't have to be expensive. You know, this might be uh, the time where maybe you, you live life a little cost effectively, right? Uh, you're making probably a lot of your own meals, not going out as much. So now's the time to squirrel that money away, maybe in a high interest savings account of some kind, so that when we have a vaccine and when the world gets back to normal, we can then just go crazy. I think 2021 is going to be an amazing year, particularly for travel. I think there could be a lot of potential deals out there as companies are trying to get people traveling again. And so those of us who have a little savings built up, they're, we're a little prepared for mail. it, then, um, you know, we're going to like, I keep saying, as soon as I get the jab, as soon as I get a vaccine in my arm of some kind, I'm booking like five cruises and one trip to Vegas, hopefully with Ace of Vegas, which is a fantastic channel. I recommend you check out. Uh, so anyways, yeah, local, provincial, state parks, beaches, places like this, this is Paddle Wheel Park, which is just, you know, this place is just lovely. Look at this. This is great. Lots of space, not too many people. So um, this is a great option here in the Okanagan. And uh, please do subscribe if you haven't already with notifications turned on. We go live without a whole lot of warning. Just when the opportunity and the, you know, internet signal provides and allows for that. Uh, so hopefully you can join us in a future live uh, or also see some of the videos we've got coming out. The world is going to come back and we're going to show it to you as it does come back. Uh, we'll go through all that together. We'll try to uh, help everyone get back into travel. And in the meantime, uh, you know, uh, support your local restaurants. Takeout is a great option. A lot, a lot of places have contact less delivery or takeout options that are really quite safe put on your mask uh, and then grab some of that great food and keep that restaurant you love in business if you can support them that's a great thing to do thanks so much for watching everybody uh, you know let me know in the comments down below what are you doing to keep yourself entertained during this are you are you getting takeout at a restaurant what kind of things are you doing to stay home to stay safe keep yourself entertained you reading old books playing old video games watching old shows what are you binging on Netflix love to know because in a few days we're gonna be back home and under lockdown once again uh, so love to hear your suggestions. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.